With Auburn football's 2021 season fast approaching, the anticipation is building. There's a really good slate of away games that are possible for fans to attend, but which ones are the best ones? Let's talk about that, discuss it, and I want to hear from you at the end of this video. My name is Kyle, the owner of the E2C Network, where the Auburn family speaks. Our content here and on our podcast network may tend to be Auburn sports heavy, but if it's orange and blue, it's what we do. Check out the links in the descriptions for ways that you can help support our content. Thank you to the members of the Booster Club, like Linda Bird, who helped produce videos like this. For 2021, there are five total away games on a 12-game regular season for the Auburn Tigers. Obviously not counting a potential of a postseason, maybe an SC Championship game. Might be a bit of a step out there, but hey, you can be optimistic, right? And of course, probably assuming that the Tigers have a successful season having a bowl game. So 12 games total seven home games we're talking about the five away games that are possible those are penn state lsu arkansas texas a&m and south carolina in that order it's actually a very impressive slate of games when you kind of look at it and look at the potential talent of each team that you're possibly going to be playing now not all of them are going to be difficult and not all of them are cupcakes that's why i think it's a pretty good spread and there's some pretty good options for you to consider going to if you're one of those fans that travels with the team a lot to go see them play in these far distant lands for some of them. So with ranking these, I think there are some pretty obvious ways to rank these teams in terms of which ones would be the best to attend. I mean, let's be honest, it's probably a little bit harder to do the home games. And there's a video that I've already done uh, breaking that down if you want to check that out. The discrepancy probably comes at the top of the list, but you have to wait and see what I think about one and two coming up. The factors that I use to decide where I would rank these teams are kind of like this context of the game, what's going on with the game within the game, so to speak, the timing of the opponent, where in the season it falls, maybe even weather and stuff like that, uh, but also kind of where it falls in the schedule up against other games that the Tigers will be taking on future implications overall, and just the schedule that we know already. We already know about some times of games and some significant things that are going to be happening for specific games. That needs to be factored in as well. So right now, let's go from the bottom to the top and talk about which ones would be the best to attend and see if you agree with me. Number five, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Before I you know, go ahead and talk about how this one's at the bottom of my list, let me just go ahead and say up front, I think what Sam Pittman did in his first season with an Arkansas team that was just less uh, utterly just devastated, just not in a good situation whatsoever. Let's not let's kid ourselves here. Auburn is probably in probably not the best situation coming into the first year for Coach Harson, but definitely wasn't as bad as Sam Pittman had to deal with. And he turned some heads, kind of you know, actually won some games he wasn't supposed to. But I still don't think that's going to be enough. I think that personally, they're still going to be at the bottom of the SEC, especially the SEC West overall. And let's talk about the whole implications of this game. It's, it's a not a good travel situation. If you've ever been out to Fayetteville, I haven't. And part of the reason I haven't is because of how far it is to travel out there. I would assume, and I think most Auburn fans and even some Arkansas fans that are being reasonable, would assume that the Tigers would probably walk out of there with a win. Doesn't mean that it's going to be easy but probably going to get a win, maybe pulling away uh, towards the end of the game. So for me, it doesn't seem that good of a travel situation for a game where you're probably going to win. And if this was an Arkansas team that was going to be really good and obviously, you know, maybe was contending for the SEC, I'd say, well, maybe you rank this one up a little bit higher. But for me, this situation, Arkansas sits at number five. Number four, South Carolina. Honestly, this is very close to my feelings about the Arkansas Razorbacks, but there's a slight novelty factor with the Gamecocks, that being that we don't get to see the Gamecocks as much as we do the Razorbacks. So anytime there's an opportunity to go see someone from the East, which to be honest, we only see them every, what, six years at this point, and really you only see their away stadium every 12 years of that, if I'm doing the math right in my head. I can't remember if I'm not. Uh, but this is an opportunity to actually go see a team that you don't see that often, but also uh, their away stadium, if you're someone who likes to do that. The travel proximity is actually a little bit closer than that of Arkansas, which gives it a bump over it. And it'll probably be a little bit better of a game overall. This is going to be Shane Beamer's first year as head coach after Will Muschamp exited. So obviously they're going to be having a little bit of turnover. Same thing as Auburn. I do think Auburn's probably in the better situation than South Carolina was talent-wise with a transition, so that's probably why you expect Auburn to win there as well. 
And from what I've heard, Bryce Williams Memorial Stadium is just uh, is, is an amazing one to be inside. And where they say, if it ain't swaying, we ain't staying. So it might be a good one to attend. Number three, the Texas A&M Aggies. One of the most challenging games on the schedule, in my opinion. And there are a lot of factors that go into it. Let's go ahead and talk about the travel. That's about as far as it is to get to Fayetteville, Arkansas. So in terms of fan travel and just the team travel as well, it's going to be pretty tough. Now, this is later on in the schedule for Auburn after they've gotten through a very rough patch with Penn State, Georgia, and LSU a little bit later in the schedule. And it'll be probably a nice moment there to kind of get geared back up after having maybe a game that's a little bit easier to in between all of that. Probably will be nice temperatures as well, even though it's always hot in Texas. It won't be as hot as going there, say, in early September. The thing for me on this game is this could be a very pivotal game for Auburn and their placement in the SEC as the season shakes out. Really, how good is Texas A&M? It depends on who you talk to. Obviously, Alabama's at the top of the SEC West, and most people are expecting them to be there. But the question is, who is going to be number two? Most people aren't giving Auburn a run for their money in that, in that case. Most people are talking about Texas A&M and LSU. And it depends on who you talk to. Personally, I'm kind of leaning towards Texas A&M being the better team. Don't really know why. It's just the way my feelings are going at this point. So I think the pivotalness of this game is going to be huge for Auburn. If they can go in there and pull out a win, could be a huge signature win for Coach Harson. Number two, the Penn State Nittany Lions. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, and you're like, Kyle, how could you not put this one at number two? I'll be honest with you. I waffled back and forth on which one I was going to put at number one. The next one I'll talk about in just a second, or this one being Penn State. And honestly, I could probably convince myself while talking about this to put this at number one. Let's just talk about the novelty of the game in and of itself, and I think that's probably what sells it the most. This is going to be a humongous game, not just for Auburn, not just for Penn State, but for college football, especially that week. They've already been selected as the prime time game. I believe on ESPN or ABC, one of the two, it's going to be a wide out game that Penn State just got done announcing as well. So they're obviously anticipating as much. This atmosphere is going to be incredible. And talk about signature wins. If Coach Harson wants to come in and make a statement about how Auburn is not going anywhere, this is the opportunity to do it. So a little bit of an extra travel of this, but this is definitely one that I would say is worth it, even if you went in there and took a loss because of how big the game is going to be and the implications for Auburn, but also college football as a whole. Number one, LSU. I think this one's pretty obvious for a lot of you. This one has so many factors that appeal to the Auburn fan. Number one is just LSU one of our biggest rivals where they fall in that rivalry ranking it's differing as i found out most of you i think uh dislike georgia the most but for me it's always lsu number two right behind alabama because had some bad experiences there myself just to kind of give you a little bit of a personal story there the history of this game is what really pushes it over the edge and why i currently and i said i waffle back and forth put this as my number one game in terms of away games to look forward to and possibly attend this season It hasn't happened in over two decades, honestly, that Auburn has beaten LSU in Baton Rouge, and it is well overdue. And you would think in a year where Auburn's in transition, trying to get back on their feet, that this wouldn't happen. But this is an LSU team that still hasn't rebounded completely after their magical championship season of two ago, two years ago at this point. So I really do think that Auburn has a strong opportunity to go into Baton Rouge and get the history taken care of and start a new streak of victories there. This will obviously be another pivotal game for their placement in the SEC as well. So all of that combined is what pushes LSU up to the number one best game to attend for me in the 2021 Auburn football season. Now the big question is, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Would you shift those rankings a little bit in any way? If you would, even if you completely agree, let me know down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you your thoughts on this topic. If you enjoyed this content, please help support it by smashing that like button. And if you want more content from us, be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an upload or a live stream. There are also other ways to help support us listed in the description, such as the E2C Network Booster Club. Thank you for tuning into the E2C Network, where the Auburn family speaks. War Eagle.